You know, one of the things you may have picked up on watching this channel is just how often I go fishing in the off times. By off time, I mean when the conditions are friggin' terrible. I don't know exactly why I do it, but whether I'm trying to find mushrooms under six inches of snow, or maybe just trying to catch white bass in flood water, I enjoy the challenge, solitude, and excitement of it. Lion's mane in the snow. <laughs> This makes my day. And yeah, it's led me to strike out a lot of days when I'm out there fishing. And there are a few friends that will never fish with me again. You think we ought to go back? Yeah. Also led me to find some ways to fish that a lot of people just don't consider. I'm gonna share one of those with you today. So March 16th, 2023, 37 degrees, seven to 12 mile per hour wind coming out of the Southwest and a high barometric pressure about 30.38 on the mercury and resting stable there. The shad have been moving around like crazy in this lake, but for the most part, the crappie have been dormant. The carp and the buffalo have started to move up into the streams, but the white bass are still hanging out in deeper water. The lake I'm fishing in this video, I have limited out on crappie every time I've ever fished it. But that did also usually happen later in the year when it was a little bit warmer and the crappie were really in flurry mode. I decided I wanted to fish from the kayak today, so that adds another challenge because it's hard to stay put in a kayak. That means I'm gonna need to have some extra safety gear packed with me. The water is still very cold, so I'm going uh, in safety mode. I got my exploding life jacket and my throwable. I always keep two just in case I end up in the water and this thing fails, I've got to fall back. Now, I wanted to confirm activity of the shad, so I gave my cast net a toss, and oh yeah, they're moving. Look at all of them suckers. That's just one chuck randomly into the lake. Now, my plan is to jig fish, but I went ahead and threw these guys in the bucket as an insurance policy. If I wanted to try a few things later on, I can. After I got launched, I hit my usual haunts where my friend John and I have absolutely slammed them in the past. I only got this one little bass to show for it though. First fish of the day. I took a few minutes to run over and toss one of the shad into the spillway on the other side of the dam, to see if I got some trap monster down there. No luck there either. So then I decided to head all the way down to the other side of the lake where it's a little bit more shallower on the north side. My logic was that the sun may have warmed the water up there a degree or two more than in the deeper area where it's gonna hold on to the temperature. So with the wind blowing about seven miles per hour towards the northeast, I decided to let the wind blow me across the deepest part of the lake. I just tossed my jig out, let it hang to the bottom. And that's when I found the fish in the deepest spot in the middle of the lake. The spot you almost never find the fish, but we all know crappie like to find a certain area and they're usually all gonna be together. So when I caught one, I was pretty sure I had more. It's not a fish. Oh, hey, look at this. Look what I just got. And look where I'm at to get it. Holy smokes, I am in the center of the deepest part of the lake. I decided to drag my lure through here and look what I got. One, two, three, four, five, six spines. That would make him a white crappie. I'll be dang, look at that little guy. He's small, but let's try it again. I'll sit here playing with seagulls, actually trying to get seagulls to eat the fish off of the deck of the boat. <laughs> Cause why not, right? Hey, love. Hi. How's it going? Uh, it's not going too bad. I caught my first fish and I may have just caught my second. Ooh, nice. I can't tell. They're deep, 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 deep. That's how you like it. <laughs> oh, wow. I got another one. Okay. Just keep trying things until it works. Well, another little white crappie. I was out here just letting the wind push me, playing around. I was actually reading to see if I could eat seagulls, if it was legal to hunt seagulls. <laughs> it's not. Well, I don't know where I picked this guy up. Just kidding, yes I do. Way down deep in the lake. And here we go. You know, I was hoping they'd be bigger down there, but they're not. It's a funny lake because I really can't think of a, a, a time where I ever caught a fish that was a different size than that. Within, I mean, maybe 20% of its weight. They're like always that size. They're just tiny in here. Really rather put some bigger ones in, but at some point I'm gonna start keeping a few of those because I'd like to have crappie dinner. 
And I paddled back to the west side of the lake again. And let's see if this works again. <sighs> well, I don't know, that one felt bigger. But with the boat moving, and as deep as they are, well, he is a little bit bigger. I don't do that. Oh, you. There's something in it. Uh, look how big he is when I hold him close to the camera. He's a monster. Look at that. He's the size of my hand. Little hands. <laughs> I wasn't being patient enough earlier. I was casting and retrieving kind of aggressively and just sitting here and chilling out and letting the boat get pushed by the wind. That's what it took. Just slowly dragging it across the bottom. I mean, normally crappie like to strike up, but catch them where you can catch them. And today, it's all the way down pretty deep. What I'll do here, let's see what happens as the wind pushes me towards that house over there. And if the bite dies off, I'll just paddle all the way back over and just do it again. Truthfully, I didn't want to paddle all the way to the north side of the lake. So if I can catch them right here, and those crappie weren't big. That's kind of what this lake's known for. For some reason, the crappie are just really overpopulated in here or something. And they just don't, man, 10, 11 inches is a huge crappie in here. Okay, let's head back up. It'll be a fun paddle into the wind, but we'll basically go back over around where we started about halfway across the lake. Let the wind push us again and see if we can get back on them. We were doing good until we just drifted too far into shallow water, I guess. I was warm earlier. It's 38 degrees, but the sun made me feel really warm over there. Here, really regretting taking my hoodie off. Pretty cold. All I'm doing is casting it up into the wind, letting it drop as far down as it will. And I'm letting the wind push the boat. I'm not even jigging or anything. I'm just sitting here holding it. Oh, fishing for crappie in the weirdest of places. Oh, I'm catching crappie. Hopefully in this deep area, maybe I'll stumble into one of the bigger ones. I mean, there's got to be some uh, some larger ones in here. This lake is so loaded with young ones. Little eight inchers. Seven, eight inch crappie all over this lake. The line actually, as it, the wind's pushing me through the water, the line will give lift to the lure. And the lure's not that heavy. I think that's a 16th ounce jig head. So it may not have enough weight to, it, it may be suspended. That might be what's happening as I'm actually kind of jigging here or um, kind of trolling. Oh, here we go. Another monster. But dang it, if we're not catching them out here. Hey. Isn't that funny? When fishing's hard, when it's cold, tell you what, I'll do this. There was one, but he didn't. I mean, they're real slow down there. They're not biting with any authority at all. It's very gentle. They're just like, oh. But I've had several of them on that I had get you get about halfway to the boat that are that pop off, and I think it just has to do with how gentle they're biting. They're not they're not hitting it and giving any aggressive actions at all, which is just leading to a, a hook that's not really embedded real deep. So for the early spring, when the weather is cold, the barometer's high, that sun's out, and the fish aren't biting, I recommend trying this method. This lake has about a maximum depth of about 20 feet. Most lakes of this size, you're gonna have a little more depth. And this lake also has a really flat bottom. So if you're in a reservoir that has a max depth of around 80 feet, well, you probably wanna try to use this in somewhere in that 20 to 30 foot range. And this lake also has very little structure in and around it. So uh, structure will probably tend to draw the fish up into shallower water. Uh, so keep that in mind. Uh, structureless lakes can be notoriously difficult to fish unless you go out there with fish finder, which I just am morally against. I, you know, to each their own, but I like doing it 
the, re the old fashioned way. I, I think you're a little more in touch with nature when you go out, read the water, read the weather, and find the fish. And that's what this day was all about for me. So I'm really happy to have caught some fish this day. Thanks for coming along on this journey. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any luck in situations like this. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.